Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. So let's now define the expectation of a random variable with respect to a given sigma field. So this is a given sigma field. How to define this? So let's define it. Suppose or let x be an integrable random variable integrable random variable on probability space omega f p and suppose g is a sigma field which is contained in this field which is contained in this sigma field this one then the conditional expectation then the conditional expectation of f of x given g defined by expectation of x given g is a random variable such that such that it satisfies these two number one expectation of x given g is g measurable number two for every a from g we have expectation of x given g dp is equal to integral of x over a with respect to the probability so if you have a sigma field which is contained in this f then you can define the expectation of a random variable x with respect to that particular sigma field and and that is going to be again a random variable this expectation conditional expectation of x given g is again going to be a random variable that satisfies these two properties because in the coming videos we are going to define you know martingale so we need to know what that's why we need to know what is the expectation of a random variable given a sigma field you you need to know or even we will define some other notions like filtration so we will again see what do we mean by expectation of x given you know a filtration ft so we will see in the coming videos but before that we have got some some properties of this expectation of x given sigma field g so number one expectation is a linear operator expectation of ax plus by these are x and y are two random variables given a sigma field is equal to a times expectation of x given g plus b times expectation of y given g we also have another property which says that expectation of expectation of x given g so remember that we we already said that this expectation of x given g is a random variable so because it is a random variable so we can again take its expectation so that's why uh, we can see that the expectation of this is going to be expectation of x only then we have third property which says that expectation of so this this property is called linearity so then we have third if x is g measurable so if x is g measurable 
then expectation of product of x and y and we don't know about y so because this x is measurable in g so we can take it outside so then we have expectation of y given g only and this property is known as taking out what is known so this is you know taking out taking out what is known so you can see that the random variable x is known in g so that's why we can pull it outside of the expectation then we have third property which says that if x is independent of g third one if x is independent of g independent of the sigma field g then expectation of x given g because g has nothing to do with x it's independent so uh, it, it should turn out to be the expectation of x only because it has nothing to do with g. E. then we have fourth one the property is called tower property of course it's the fifth one yeah tower property so what is tower property so if you are given with another sigma field which is subset of this sigma field g then because we already know that expectation of x given g is a random variable so this random variable can again be conditioned on the other sigma field which is h so expectation of x given g given h we can take its expectation and it turns out that it is expectation of x given h only so where h is a subset of the sigma field g and then we have the last one uh, property number six that is called the positivity so what is that posit positivity so it says that if the random variable is non-negative then its expectation with the given g is also non-negative that's it in the coming videos we will be moving towards the filtration and then we will define you know martingales and then after that we will be moving towards the general stochastic integrals